Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, short demo on how to uh, compare two different parts uh, in Katia V5. A lot of customers um, ask me about this and they wonder how can we bring two parts that are similar uh, but they're not exactly the same. Uh, how would you be able to compare the differences between the two? And actually Katia comes with a free tool um, as long as you have the uh, space analysis workbench in DMU. Uh, you'll be able to uh, use that workbench uh, quite easily. All you really have to do is uh, go into your uh, product component and load the existing components. I'm going to load the first iteration of this part. I'm going to hit open. As you can see, this is uh, the one that we started off with. But there was a design change to this particular part, and so they tried to reinforce this area, make it a bit stronger, and they introduced Rev B. So I'm going to bring that one in. I'm going to click on the second one. I'm going to hit OK. As you can see, Rev B is loaded. Now for this to work they must both load at the same time into the space analysis workbench which is a DMU uh, workbench and you want to basically look for this icon here called compare product. Now you click on it it's going to give you two choices. Well at first you have to load the two parts uh, right within the dialog box so the old version obviously is Rev A and uh, the new version is Rev B. Now they both load so you have the option between visual comparison and a geometric comparison. Let's choose uh, visual and uh, do a preview on that. Uh, as you can see we can just run that through and clearly the software indicates the difference between the uh, original and the new one with this uh, red representation. As you can see this loft was added and I can clearly see it. It even detects things that are hard to see such as this little uh, piece here which I couldn't have seen with my naked eye. So we were able to overlap the two pieces and the software will be able to indicate that. Um, and as you can see the added material is showed, shown in red. If I click geometric comparison it will run them side by side but now uh, the accuracy is a little bit too high so I'm going to just bump it up to uh, maybe 1.5 or 1.9 let's say and I'll preview that. The software run through the analysis actually and come back with a report. As you can see it will show it with tiny little cubes. It's like every time there's a, an add-on to that particular area, it will indicate it with red cubes. The finer the uh, number down here, the better the reading is. And so if I close this down and uh, say I reduce that down to 0.5 and I do another preview, you'll see that the renderings will be slightly better as it will indicate more and more cubes uh, side by side to fill up that area. And that cube is 0.5 by 0.5 by 0.5. That's the actual size of the cube and it will just increase or load as many as it can within that area that uh, we have. Another thing that we can experiment with is um, I'd like to go into Rev uh, B and I'll double click on it and I'll actually introduce a hole into it and we'll leave that at 20. We'll hit OK. As you can see the new Rev has um, a hole in it. So if I go back to the product and I run a comparison between the two pieces uh, you'll see that I can now select uh, Reload Rev A, pick on the first, pick on the second, and do a quick preview. In green, the software will show the removed material. So not only does it show where material was added, but also where it's removed. And so as you can see, that was the comparison between the two pieces when uh, removed material was uh, shown. So clearly, the software allows us to do that right within, without any questions. Um, and uh, we're able to do that using the um, space analysis toolbar. It's a great tool to compare two products that are slightly different uh, without having to do a lot of measurements and the software will indicate that for you. So hopefully this tip has helped you in uh, this regard and uh, I keep uh, checking back uh, for more uh, tips and tricks in Katia and other CAD software.